In the past, Crayola hasn't exactly had the best reputation with Salty Crafter. A three and a half on ten dorks. I would give this set a two on ten dorks. For the love of salt, this week we will be taking a look at Crayola's Kling Creator. This kit costs $18 US, and if you want refills, they'll cost you half the price, which is $9. The supposed idea behind this kit is that we can make Kling Creators. So, you know those jelly things, or in my days they were little octopi you could throw on the wall and they just kind of stick there, except for the octopus used to kind of roll its way down. So that's the idea. I'm really curious to see whether or not this product is going to be crappy, like all the other Crayola things, or if it's gonna be actually worth it. I'm very well aware that Crayola has a line of makeup now, which I will not be testing because you can even give me the best quality of makeup and does, does, does this face look like it wears makeup? The answer is no, it doesn't. Before we begin with this review, Salty Crafter has found a friend with equally epic facial expressions. This week's review is a collaboration with Mariah Elizabeth. If you guys don't know who she is, she is absolutely hilarious. Her channel is predominantly squishy themed, but her humor is just absolutely out of this world. We share the same sense of humor, and that's why, you know, if you get me, you're gonna get her and you're just gonna fall in love right away. Even if you didn't ever think you were into squishies, trust me, just go check her out. I'll leave her links in the iCard section as well as in the description box below, so make sure you check her out. And this week we both decided Crayola's our victim. If you want a shout out in my Friday videos, don't forget to hashtag Nerdification Squad in the comment section below within the first 45 minutes of a video's release, or hashtag NerdyCrafter on Instagram anytime with any of your creations. Time to see if this cling clings. Here's what we get on the inside. Six Clean Creator Solutions, or gel, so it's pretty clear. Oh, that's that smells strong. That smells... <coughs> that smells really bad. Next we get three primary colors. I don't know what's, what's going on with the yellow. Seriously, what's going on with yellow? And then we have five double-sided molds. We have butterfly, flower, spider. Wait, that's not a spider, it has six legs. Snake, the sun, or an explosion, or a cogwheel whatever you want. Lightning bolt, the peace sign, they seem to really like the peace sign, it was also in their sticker maker. Musical note, a heart, and a star. Four containers, clay for some reason, rollers, and all the pieces needed to build our cling machine. Right off the bat, I can tell you this contraption is a gimmick. I'm pretty sure we don't need this to mix our pot. I'm pretty sure we could just shake it with our hand. That is the most useless thing ever. All right, let's make a cling. I'm gonna start with a snake, follow the instructions to the T to make a basic one. So it was fairly straightforward. All you have to do is put solution B into line B and solution A <laughs> until line A. That that's how easy it was, guys. Just make sure you secure the top, not like me. Bruh. Whoops. After nearly using all the solution, I did realize that there is spillage. So the instructions of the measurements are not exactly precise for each mold. So you're gonna have to be careful and Give yourself some leeway if you wanted to put glitter or anything like that. So it turns out that the clay is there so that we can make our own molds with things around the house and then just fill it up with the solution. But there were no instructions whatsoever on how to use it or if I was supposed to keep it in there longer. All right, now that we've made them all, waited about 20 minutes, let's unmold it with this useless piece of 
tool. I, I, I don't even. What's this for? Why? Why is my roller rolling while it's rolling? Useless piece of tool. First up is our snake, which is the most basic one, and it's not sticky at all. I'm really curious to see if it's actually going to stick. We're going to unmold them all first, and then we're going to try them on, as they say, different surfaces. Lightning bolt. I didn't put any glitter in this one, just because, you know, I wanted to do all colors first. Come out! Come out! Ah, uh, dang, are you kidding me? Come on, me! There's some damage. Let's do the musical note. I'm gonna be as ginger as possible. Wow, that took forever. And we get, look at all these hollow unicorns. The star. And lastly, Sailor Moon from the Piece of Clay. Are you freaking kidding? No, obviously not. <laughs> That's a disaster. Absolute disaster. Look at that. Waste of time. Now it's actually time to take these bad boys and test on what surfaces they can or cannot stick. I can tell you right away the stickiness level on these. No. Even if they stick, I promise you, they will not last more than half an hour. Test number one, just the front of my desk. That is not secure at all. Just like the stickers, this is not secure. Wouldn't take much. Test number two, wooden chair. It's a flat surface, I promise. Nope. A glass surface. Surprisingly the most stable, but not quite stable. If you're new to Salty Crafter, welcome to the family that has high blood pressure. Make sure you bring some kind of sweet thing to lower that sodium. On Salty Crafter, I like to always start with the cons first because that's the whole point. If you don't like it, go watch a positive review. Holy carp, I have 15 different cons. So let's start right away because we need to know, is this kit worth it. What's up with solution B? It smells so strong, I kid you not, it smells like gas and I don't think it's very good to whiff it. I think it should come with a mask, it's absolutely disgusting. Really Crayola? Black and white instructions. I've seen way smaller companies actually put colored instructions in their kits. Kind of disappointing. All right, so this whole gimmick of the mixing machine, what is this absolutely useless contraption? Really, I, I can't just shake it in my hand. Do I really need to make that much noise to annoy the parents or family members and make them regret ever buying that kit? The window to mix and match colors is five minutes. So if I need to make a three colored one, I should ideally prep them ahead of time and then mix it. They only say, you know, make three colors or make two colors, but they don't tell you ahead of time, mix it. Because if you have to actually shake it for a minute as written in the instructions and you're making three colors, that's three minutes only on shaking plus putting the solutions together. So your window of opportunity is pretty short to make something. In addition to the mixing machine being useless because you could just do this, it's loud. It's really loud and really obnoxious. All I have to say about it, just, I mean, listen to the sound. On the side of the box, it says that customizing it is the funnest part and it's all up to you to customize it. However, the measurements are completely off. When I made the snake and put the mixture in, it overfilled. I didn't add any glitter, didn't add any sequins. So what we're getting here is wastage. What's up with that? Shouldn't they leave just a little buffer zone? In addition to the measurements being bad for just one of them. Now, if I wanted to make a three colored one, guess what? I am forced to waste three full files. Because they don't tell you how to make a third of a portion because you only have to go up to B and then A. Well, guess what? If you want to make one three colored one, that's not going to happen. You're going to make three three colored ones exactly as I did because they don't, they don't divide that measurement. So you're forced to make that. So they give us this bag of Clay. Now what? It, it says go to Crayola.com. I went to Crayola.com, typed in the search Cling Creator, and all I got was the tutorial to make the normal Cling Creators. Nowhere was it mentioned how to use that clay or if I need to let it sit for longer, what if, you know, the mold is deeper. So I let it sit for about 25 minutes. The rest is history. That tutorial, nowhere to be found. So the clay is there. So let's say, all right, we're, we're just going to figure it out. The second you try to push the mold in, you're not going to get an even piece. That's, that's guaranteed. And it's hard to be pushed in. And and I have pretty big hands. Can you imagine eight-year-olds? This is advertised for eight plus. That roller was the most useless piece of tool in there. I know they were saying, you know, you can make something with your clay on there, but no. Why does my roller need to roll? The modeling clay could have been a good idea, but 
after you unmold it, two things. First of all, it's white. It got really dirty within the first use. Can you imagine making, I don't know, six of them, seven of them? And after each time you use it, you're just going to have to absolutely remove every single chunk. Unmolding from the piece of clay was a nightmare because it's flexible and it just broke, even though I left it in there longer. But in addition to the clay unmolding, the actual stiff pieces of molds were not easy because even though I tried to remove it from the edges, it slipped and I tore it. How uncool is that? The box says cling creator. You expect this to cling. Crayola. Just like your sticker set. Your stickers are supposed to stick. Clings are supposed to cling. So the thing it's actually advertised to do doesn't do very well. Some people might say it is the journey that counts. Yeah, but the destination kind of too, you know what I mean? All right, so playability. We've created something. We're like, oh, this is gonna cling. So the first thing that comes to mind is, you know, you could throw it on the wall, kind of like what we did as kids, and it would stick. No, once you've done it, that's it. It becomes just the piece that's going to be laying down on your desk, gather dust, or, you know, under the couch and gather cat hair. I'm aware that Crayola is non-toxic, but man, that smelled really bad. That's still not the point. Final point is cleanup. It specifically says to clean it up with a paper towel. I don't understand why I can't clean it in my sink. It exclusively says paper towel. That makes me wonder how non-toxic slash how environmentally friendly is it? Now for the pros, we have Three. The first one, it is good value when you think that you can actually make 20 clings for about 18, 19 bucks. So you're looking around 95 cents per cling. Not too bad. Number two, it was kind of fun to make, but again, as I said, yes, the journey is important, but if you look at playability, it becomes an absolutely useless piece of junk laying around your house. And lastly, the colors are really vibrant. So even though we finished making them and you can see them after, they were really vibrant, really pretty, and they were translucent. I was kind of worried that the glitter wouldn't show through, but it did. So overall, I would give this product a five and a half dorks on 10. It's really far from a great product because the thing that it's advertised to do it doesn't do and it's not entirely a crap product because it passes the time so it's entirely up to you is it worth it is it not that's kind of like a 55 percent salty crafter waits money so you don't have to Aww. if you want to check out if the rock painting kit that mariah picked up is worth it or not don't forget to check her out in the card section and if you want to watch another salty crafter review click right here if you want to watch a crafting video click down there until then, I will see you in the next video.